What's up iFam? Good morning. You join us at Singapore Changi Airport this morning. It's just a little after 8am and we're all just waiting to board our flight back to Gatwick Airport. The long 14 hours back to Gatwick and back home because it's come to the end of our amazing adventure here across Australia and Singapore. We were all up this morning just a little after 5, packed up our hotel room, got out in a taxi to the airport and now it's almost time to board our flight. I don't know where the time's gone. I don't know where the last three weeks have gone. I know. But we're all feeling a bit sad this morning, the fact that we're leaving. But we're quite excited to see Prinny and Grandpa. Yeah, on the flip side though, we're very excited to see Prinny, although we have a very, very long day ahead of us before we get to do that. We've got a 14 hour flight, and then a probably a five hour drive, getting us home probably quite late tonight. Dad, we can tonight. sit in the car and Dad has to drive yeah. after a 14 hour flight. A long way. But we're all just having a little bite for breakfast in the airport before we board, and we'll see you then. As you can see, everybody's already settled in for the flight with their iPads. <laughs> We're all boarded and pushing back, ready to go. How are you doing? Good. Yeah? How many movies have you watched? Four. Four movies. How many movies have you watched? Um, I don't even know. There's about four or five. A few, yeah? I watched the movie one about how Sky gets to the last. I watched Space film. Good. You've watched ten movies? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I know. I watched him play like games. I'm watching that. It's really weird stuff. All the time. Are you having a good time, Isla? Yeah. Yeah? How's your sandwiches? Yeah. yeah? Well, we've got seven hours left, or six hours left, or something like that. Okay. About halfway through. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Just got into Gatwick, literally, we landed about an hour ago now after immigration and bags, etc. and picking up our car, which we've just done. Our body clocks right now should be on 2 a.m. What is it, 2 a.m. time? Just 1 a.m. time in Australia time, or like just before midnight in Singapore time right now. And we've been up since 5 o'clock this morning, Singapore time, so we've been up for a long time now. And I can't believe yeah. you slept for like an hour on the plane, and yeah. after that, maybe two hours actually. Yeah. I closed my eyes as we were landing for like 10 minutes and the girls didn't even blink the whole time. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't sleep at all, did they? Yeah, like, so we haven't slept much. I think I slept the most out of everybody, but we haven't slept much. And now we've got like... that's good though, because you've got to drive for five hours now. Yeah, it's not going to be too good that. I'm not looking forward to it. It's like, it's just come to 5pm UK time and we've got like probably a five hour drive back up home now, which is going to really suck, especially in rush hour traffic and stuff. But. Might have to make a few stops on the way because I guarantee I'm going to be tired. But you know, such is life. We haven't obviously filmed much today because we've been on a plane all day long. But you know, it's a bit of a weird one today just because it feels like such a long day. It feels like when we go to Florida, <coughs> bless you. <laughs> when we go to Florida and then we land and then we have to stay up like as late as we can kind of thing to kind of catch our bodies up with the time. Not really, once we get home we go straight to bed. Yeah, we do, yeah. yeah. But by the time we do that though, we'll have been up for an extreme amount of time. 
because it will be basically like 6 a.m. Singapore time when we get home. So we'll kind of been up for almost 24 hours. That's crazy. That's no good for a pregnant lady. No. <laughs> I'm on the mints, guys. You guys are going to be, yeah, she's not feeling good at all right now. Literally, we got off the plane and she wasn't very well at all. But, you know, we're all good now. We're all in the car, strapped up, ready to go. About to hit the motorway and start making our yeah. way home. I can't wait to get in my bed. Yeah, I know. I cannot wait to get back home. You guys know how much I love traveling and we all love traveling. And we've had the most amazing times and the most amazing adventures. But it gets to this stage, comment down below if you agree, where you just want to get home. Yeah. You just want your own bed, your own comforts, and you just can't wait to get home. That's where I am right now. Right, let's do it. Yeah. Let's, let's get on the road. Literally four hours on from our last clip at the airport. It was 5 p.m. then, it's now just after 9 p.m. and we've still got an hour and a half to go before we're actually home. We've just stopped on the motorway to get some fuel because we were stuck on the M25 just outside of the airport for like two and a half hours. It was rush hour, traffic wasn't moving anywhere fast. It wasn't fun. <laughs> anyway, the girls have been like asleep for most of the journey. Sarah's been up chatting to me and she's super, super tired right now. Obviously like our body clocks are completely messed right now and it's kind of like 5 a.m. for us. Singapore time on, Australia time. Singapore time is like 3 a.m. or something. This is gonna be the most bar, bar vlog we've ever made, like ever. I'm really sorry for that guys, but we've got like another hour and a half to go. And it's gonna be pretty much a case of getting home late near midnight and getting straight to bed, which super, super sucks. But anyway, I'm gonna go pay for this petrol, this diesel, and get back on the road. probably thinking what is going on but I apologize for the very very quick ending to yesterday's part of this video basically when we got home last night we were all absolutely exhausted the girls slept pretty much the whole car journey home so when they crawled in they literally crawled straight into bed yeah Chris drove like the whole five and a half hours it ended up being with traffic it was so long after a 14 hour flight so he was absolutely exhausted as well and i was literally just sick as a dog yeah. over the toilet so we just thought it'd be a better idea to end the vlog this morning when we're all feeling a little bit more alive and a little bit fresher and so here we are right now we're home Yay! yeah end of the video. it literally just feels so good to be home just waking up this morning with our own home comforts and just everything around us that we love and yeah. um it's awesome. So the girls are currently just relaxing. They're obviously back at school tomorrow, so we thought we'd have a bit of a relaxing morning this morning. They've been playing on their Xbox, which they've missed. And I'm not actually sure what they're doing now. The Xbox has been turned off for about an hour. They're being quiet, which usually means quiet. they're getting into trouble. No, it doesn't. <laughs> and they're all being really quiet, so. We just thought we'd end this video now before we start tomorrow's vlog, <laughs> which is today, because we do have a really exciting day coming up today, right? Yeah, we do. We've spent this morning just relaxing things, but we're about to head on off for a scan. And our scan that we're having today is actually quite exciting. I mean, the first thing is obviously to check the baby's okay and do all the things that they check at 12 weeks. And But we're also going to be having the blood test, which determines... Which lets us know, basically, yeah. And so we've decided with this baby, we're going to find out, I know lots of you guys have been asking, with the three girls, we didn't find out. It was a surprise right until the end. And we thought with this one, let's just have a bit of a different experience. And because the gap's so big as well, it just feels completely different and new, this pregnancy. So we thought this time we would find out the gender of the baby. And I'm so excited. Yeah. It's so weird because when you come to that decision, you can't imagine not finding out. Sorry, mate, I'm dropping off. Right, there we go. I told you to put it on a stand. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to find that out today. Also, whilst we were on the plane on the way home yesterday, I mean, because we're trying to keep ourselves sane during that flight, we were talking about baby names and if we each of us had any yeah, ideas yeah. of any names that we like and so because this video has probably been so long and so boring we thought we'd share a couple with you guys because so many of you have been asking do you have any baby names yet before we do share a couple of these names these are literally not in any specific order at all and also they're not definites so they're not like 
it's definitely going to be Ish. three boys names i'll share yeah. three girls names and they're just names that we really like but we're not like it's going to be one of these three for no nah. no to be honest they're we've absolutely names. no idea absolutely yeah. no idea and we're really stuck this time but we've got some ideas of some names that we have, like yeah we do have ideas so of but we want your input so we want you to let us know what you think of them and also give us your suggestions for boys and girls names boys especially so yeah, yeah we're I more find stuck girls with boys names really easy. obviously our girls names are isabel esme and isla they all start with like i's and e's and and um we kind of i love that i don't know why i find them names that starts with a's or e's or i's really pretty names and so i feel like we're going to stick with that if it's a girl definitely okay go with it <laughs> go with let's go with your girl names so a couple of girls names that i really really like are this one's like quite out there so i'm just gonna say that right now this name's quite out there and quite unique i don't actually know any other girl with this name but I know princess with this name <laughs> and that name is Aurora. I think it's so pretty. I'm not sure if like it would be, I'm not sure if I would definitely choose it as like a first name but I probably would. I really like it. Yeah. So the first name that I like for a girl is Aurora. Um, you do a boy's name one now, I okay. just mix it up. Alright, <laughs> so yeah I like, I, I like out there names as well like rather than the more traditional names so one that I like for a boy is definitely something like Rain, um, R-E-I-G-N type Rain. I also like the name Brody as well. Whoa, just thrown out there two boys oh, names. Two, sorry, I do no like the name Brody for... as well. <laughs> okay you go on, you fire no out your two girls. Okay, and also Brody, so Rain and Brody. I think Rain would suit as a second name. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Too. Anyway, um, another girl's name I like is Aria. So it starts with an A again. I A I R A. a yeah, it's really pretty. No, A. No, wait a minute. A R I A. Yeah. Aria. Um, I just think it's super cute, super small and pretty. It's also got like four letters, which the younger two are four letters in their name. And yeah, I really like that. Yeah, I like. Um, What's your last boy's name? I like. I like the name Kason. I was just thinking, actually, you said that Rain being a second name, Kason Rain would be quite a cool name. Yeah, Kason. I, don't know. I think Kason's like um, an American name. I've only heard that name one other time, and that was yeah. an American family. But um, I really do like the name Kason. Yeah, I it's think cute. Kason's like. I think it's like. It's just not something you hear of often. Yeah, yeah. I really like that. Yeah. Comment down below if you like any of those boy names. Watch everyone comment now and say, don't do it! I well, don't just like let, any. Let us know, let us know all your suggestions as well. Oh, and then for a, for a girl, I don't think that, um, I'm not sure I'd go with these names um, because I don't like them quite as much as I like the other names that I've given you. But I also really have been loving names because these don't start with like A-E-I-O-U either. But like space themed names like Nova, and Luna. I really like those. I think they're really pretty. Yeah, Do you like yeah. those names? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're cute. I like the different names, so. And Luna. Yeah, yeah, they are cute. I really like those. I, I, I whipped in four girls' names there. Anyway, guys, <laughs> this is probably getting really long and really boring, but we just thought we'd give you a little insight to some names that we've Six been minute 45 about. for an outro. Mm. Man. Yeah, but the whole daily vlog's like three minutes, so. We hope. <laughs> anyway, guys, yeah, so we just thought we'd give you a little insight into some names we've been thinking about. There is a few more on our list that I think I might like better and then a few that I don't like as much but comment down below what baby girl and baby boy names you like so that we can um, get some more ideas yeah definitely and we'll get to end this vlog here yep Thank we'll you see all you so guys watching, tomorrow guys. night for a it's gonna be a, today's a busy day it's gonna be really good yeah so come back but we'll see you tomorrow night at 5 p.m. thank you so much for good watching night, guys. guys good night, good night.